Financial Secretary Paul Chan revealed in his economic blueprint that he has decided to issue more bonds in a bid to replenish the coffers. But with the government's books in the red, some members of the public are worried that it would affect the city's financial stability. In announcing the 2024-25 budget yesterday, Chen revealed a $101.6 billion deficit in the current financial year. By including the $72.5 billion worth of bonds issued in the outgoing fiscal year, it raises the deficit to $173.3 billion. In the 2019-20 financial year, only around $7.8 billion worth of bonds were issued. But in the coming financial year, bond issues will jump 15-fold to $120 billion, including $70 billion for the retail market. Some members of the public grabbed the chance to criticize the government's move when the financial secretary took to the airwaves this morning. Mm. One caller accused Chen of having a wrong mindset and pointed out that the government has to pay off the bonds after maturity. He questioned who would be responsible for cleaning up what he called the mess after the minister steps down. Chen emphasized that instead of using bonds to fund the administration's daily expenses, they are treated as an investment for the future to bring in revenue. It is a normal financial arrangement, he said. Starting from the 2025-26 financial year, the authorities will issue bonds with $95 billion to $135 billion annually over the next five years to finance infrastructure development including the northern metropolis. In the Legislative Council, lawmaker Tang Fei asked if bond issues would create a heavier burden as the interest rate is regarded as recurrent expenditure that is offered at a set rate. Chen gave an assurance that the government is capable of paying the interest, which he has already included in his budget estimates. Andrew Lam asked if the government would seek to raise more than $135 billion from bonds. Chen said the figure represents the amount of bonds to be issued per year, not the ceiling. He added that by the end of the five-year period, the government's debt from bonds would make up 13 percent of the gross domestic product, which he believed is a safe and sound level. Janice Lowe, KMU News.